Who's back? Back again. <laughs> Nevo's back. Tell a friend. Okay, I'm done. All right, uh, you guys, this is going to be a Hit the Floor Season 2 premiere episode 1 review. What's up with it? Yeah, when I tell you so many fine people and hit the floor i just i had to <laughs> i had to watch it i caught up on the um excuse me for you know fixing this fixing this camera and all that good stuff but yeah i had to catch up on it for memorial day and oh my god asha and i'm trying to figure out names oh uh, hold on i'm gonna look i i got the imb up on the screen <laughs> we got um uh oh my gosh i don't even Okay, forget them. We got a uh, Jelena, cute. T uh, I Asha, fine. Uh, Kyle, I love her accent. Oh my gosh, I love her accent. Raquel, cute. Derek, fine. Jaren Vega, I love him. <laughs> ah, it is y'all. The the list goes on. I was just like, oh my god. Okay. Let me not gawk over people. All right, so the um, season, you know, premiere or episode one or whatever. Start off with um, I think was it Kimberly Elise? I, Cause I don't know their names like verbatim, but I think it was her. Ooh, I wish I knew how I start off. I kind of forgot, but yeah. So we get into this whole scene, which you know. She's the new uh, director. Uh, I said director of sales, director of the Devil's Girls. And you already know Asha don't want her mom to be, you know, a part of this. Hope y'all can hear that phone. A part of this, um, the whole ordeal. <sighs> trying to, sorry y'all, trying to relax. I mean, relax. Uh, stupid text. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry for this, you guys. Let me let me get it together. Woosa, woosa, woosa. All right. Yeah. Kimberly Lee goes to introduce herself to the Devil's Girls. And we already know Jelena ain't having it. Uh, she was like, yeah, if you want to go over there with your girls, I'm having something to say. Jelena giving stank face realness. Like. And so she was right there. Kimberly Lee introduced herself to her. She proceeds to walk off and talk to the girls. And you know, like, hey, I love you guys. And I just want you to know if you ever need to talk to me. If you ever need some condoms. If you need STD shots. I got you. Like, for real. But now, and she was like, yeah, this is a team. We're here to do this. Uh, just know that this is a family. You can come talk to me about whatever. So after that was all said and done, Jelena hit that mother like, girl, great job. Let me give you an Oscar because you're just. So totally cool and amazing. But you forgot. This is a business. And with this being a business. People get ran over. People get killed. Like Olivia. So yeah. When you're doing your whole little granny. And you know. Um, Martin Luther King speech. Just know. I got your tea. And you're not as good as the other director. Because the director knew what she was doing. Giving all sorts of face. And all that good stuff. And. I hit the floor scene and Kimberly was like girl whatever I'm a new director you better watch your back cuz I can take your job miss I got 10% and I think I'm the shit so yeah after that she uh Jelena goes to I forgot who what his name is I think it's the dude that Kimberly is trying to take down so she goes to talk to him she's like uh yeah I want to talk to you about this new director she doesn't know what she's doing and I'm gonna need to make some changes when I tell you, oh boy, caught her tea so quick, he's like, you're saying everything that I don't want to hear. First of all, you're not even honest. She's like, well, I'm 10% a part of the company. 10% of Apple don't make you Steve Job. I was like, oh, got that, got that, got that. Hey, hey, get your, get your, get your, get your, get your, get your life. Like, <laughs> homegirl, like, face was cracked after that, boy. And he, when I tell you. When I tell you, oh, dude, she thought she was up here. He brought her down to 10%. Like, girl, th you this much. We we, we got a right triangle. You're not even making an acute triangle because you got 10%. So, don't think you the ish. Like, come that down. So, once we get done with that, I think we get into, um, oh, yeah. It started off with Asha and that boy having sex. And I was just, 
I don't ship them. I wanted her and German to stay together, but that didn't happen, so... I'm mad because of that. But, yeah. So, yeah. Asha and, um... Oh, boy. I can't think of his name. He fine, though. You know, hello. They hello, boo. They not supposed to be together because devils and, oh, uh, players can't be in contact with each other, but... It's life. You know, they they imitating somebody's life on a basketball uh, scene. I don't know who, but, you know, dancers, they have sex with the players. Come on now. But, yeah, so they trying to keep it on hush-hush, keep it on down low, keep it on the quiet tip. And Asha is looking, I guess this is the part where oh, that white boy come in. That white boy was fine. And deep sigh. All right, so yeah, they looking at the white boy, and it was cute. He was like, "Yeah, he's cute." And then, I mean, she was like, "Yeah, he's cute." Then her little man was like, "Uh, yeah, you trying to be, you trying to make me, well, not trying to make me jealous. Like, yeah, you don't have good taste and all this good stuff." So you know, they talk, woo woo wop, and we don't need to be seen. And he's like, "Uh, you know, you can stay at my house because that's where you've been forever." And then walks in, cow. I love her, and she's like, "Well, I'm staying with Kyle." Kyle's like, "Bitch, what?" Wait, what? But yeah, Kyle's like, yeah, she's staying with me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pack her back, y'all. And after that was all said and done, she kind of walked up like, girl, hope you paying bills. <laughs> you know, exit stage right up in this mood. But that was cute. I love Kyle. She's like, I don't care what nobody say. She a freak, and I like it. And she just own up to everything. And that's, she, I love her. That's like one of my favorite characters, and that's crazy. But it is. I don't think I'm a freak though, but I might be. I don't know. But yeah, um, so all that said and done, we get to um I'm not really sure we get to. Let's just go into the scene with old boys um wife walking into the locker room. Y'all, I couldn't if I was her sorry y'all. Trying to get somebody off my off my text screen. If I was her, I would have walked in that locker room and take just take all towels up in this mug. <laughs> but now nah, she walked in the locker room and said, like, is that? And old boy was like, yeah, that's my wife. And she's like, hey, boys, don't worry about it. I've seen it all before. It was like, girl, you made the old dude. You, you ain't really seen it all because you got some black ones in there. <laughs> and be ranging in inches. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> yeah, so, um, she talks and they proceed to go outside. She's like, look, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to need a ticket to the game because, you know, I am 50% owner since we're still married. So, what's up with them tickets? And he was like, yeah, I got you. And she's like, yeah, I just don't want you to have no ill feelings towards me. So, she proceeds talking. He's like, look, uh, this is not going to happen for long. But she's like, yeah, I'm 50% owner, so give me my ticket. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to give you one seat. That's all I need. And she proceeds to walk off. But let me tell you this, girl. You need more sass. Like, you're walking too fast. I'm going to need you to sway a little bit. I don't know if you got booty or not because I really wasn't looking. But, you know, just just sway a little bit. And, you know, maybe your hair flip. And once you turn the corner, give them. And then walk off because you, you didn't give me the, enough tease. You gave me tease when you came into the locker room. But once you left and talked to your man, you didn't. I mean, talk to your ex. You didn't do enough to make him want you. So, I can't deal with that. So, after that, I was said and done, I think, I don't know, I'm kind of, we're going to go back, back, forth, and forth. Uh, I remember is, um, um, all I can remember is, um, Raquel getting a job or something like that, and she was like, and oh boy, I can't, y'all can't think of his name, let me find his name, what is his name? Yeah, I don't know if it's Pete. Okay, I'll just say Asha Daddy. Asha Daddy was like, I wanted to be in a special place. And I'm like, boy, you got a kid, you had a wife, and you had a mistress. What do you tell me you want something to be in a special place? It was, Raquel was like, I'm going to need you to take me right here right now. I'm ready for it. These ovaries. And they just stay. They need you to come in. I need you to come with it. I need that penetration, that obliteration. All that. She ready to, she ready to go off. And I don't know. I don't know if they did or not, but I think they did. But yeah. So after that little whole little segment, we get to um, uh, Kimberly, Lisa, and I, Asha. I want to call her Aisha so bad. Asha talking about um. Well, uh, Kimberly was like, "So who are you dating?" And he's like, "Mom, 
I know you didn't come to me to talk about who I'm dating. She's like, well, it's my job to talk to all the girls and make sure they're okay and just is everything situated. You know, this, I can give you condoms if you need it. Like, <laughs> And it was so funny. She was like, no, um, you're coming in here checking on your grown daughter, but your grown daughter is okay. And I mean, she read her mama back boots. And I'm like, that's still your mama. She should have slapped the crap out of you. I mean, I know she kept secrets from you and, you know, that is why you're feeling some type of way but dang you threw shade and i mean i want to slap you through the tv because you talk to your mama like you crazy and your mama black i came with you right now like she should have slapped them black off you slap your weave to you know look like i don't know like it frizzed up because you you did the absolute most with that scene but you did good asha you did good so, as this is over, like I say, y'all, I'm going back, back, forth, and forth. Um, well, from what I can remember, Jelena and her little ex are talking, and I love how she can turn off her emotions. It's it's amazing to me. Girl, you go hard. I don't really know your real name, you know, but I know you's off Meet the Browns. So, um, she proceeds to talk to him. She finds him. He's like... How are you doing? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And she's, and I forgot what he said. I think she was like, how was All Star Games? He's like, yeah, I'm just trying to get the ring. She was like, the ring. He's like, yeah, the championship ring. She's like, oh, oh, yeah, right, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> okay, bye. And she proceeds to walk off so freaking um socially awkward. I'm like, girl, that was your ex, and she just feels so bad. And it was so funny. She walks off, then she's turning around. She's like, I miss him. And then he proceeds to be talking to, I don't think she white, but we just gonna say she white. Some white chick. And I'm like, oh, he left your ass for a white girl. Ah, look at you. Crush feelings, crush heart, crush face in your scene. And she was just like, and just walks up. I'm just like, yeah, that's what you get, girl. That's what you get. I kind of like her character, though. I don't know why. It's just, she just, she give me too much. Well, she gave me enough. She gave me that nice, nasty with I'm um, Corella Deville and I'm um, uh what what is that new movie? Matt Mag Massifilence Massif Mas I don't know, but that movie with Angelina Jolene, Comperfecta up in this mug. So yeah, once that's all said and done, we get to um Kyle and uh what's her girl name? I Asha. They need to change her name because I can't say it right. We get to her and Asha, and her and Asha proceed to go in the door. And Kyle's ex, well, husband or whatever is not there. And the long shark there. And she was like, how you doing? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, if you're looking for my husband, he's not here right now. But I will relay this message. And I will help him get to you faster. Because we're about to file for divorce. So, um, old boy is like, no, I'm here to talk to you. Because you know how to handle business. And all this time, Asha in the background like, Girl, what the fuck I got myself into? Because, <laughs> girl, I was just asking to stay with you so I wouldn't uh have to have sex with a boy all day because he going to make me lose, girl. <laughs> but, yeah, um, so Kyle proceeds to try to keep it cute. She's like, well, you know, uh, this is not the proper time. And when I get the time, I will let you know. So right now it's not great, but I appreciate your time and smiles and giggles and kisses. Yeah. <laughs> so she proceeds to make him exit and, you know, she's trying to keep it calm in front of Asha, which is cute, girl. You you didn't get cracked. I love that about you. You stay, you stay, you know, you no know, clinch pearls, no nothing. You kept it 100 and I love that. Well, you didn't keep 100, but you kept it, you know, white girl realness on them. <laughs> I'm not affected. <laughs> I'm just going to smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, after that was all said and done, we get to, um, where did we get to? Oh boy, uh, G -G -L -G -G Jelena's ex. Now I'm with K2 Spot. I'm like, is that the girl that he was walking with? I think it was his doctor, whatever. He's talking about the torn ligament. He was like, he gonna take that wrist or blowing out his knee. And I'm just like, boo. Don't be like Derrick Rose. I love Derrick Rose. I really do. But uh, I pray to God that that boy like make it back to the NBA for real. But yeah, he's like, he want that ring. So, after that's all said and done, we get to this little scene with um, Asha. Nope, not Asha. Jelena and um, Jelena, Jelena and Kimberly Lee. And she's like, yeah, girl, I know your type. You ain't nothing. I got your whole car. 
you best to watch your back. I know she wants to say, you best stop messing with my daughter because I'll beat your ass. <laughs> like, I, I just I just felt that she was, in, you know, embodying that. But, yeah, you know, Jelena Thor Lachey, you're not the director, and you will not be here for long. And I'm going to catch you when you're slipping. And when you're slipping, I'm going to tell Tyrone. His name not Tyrone, but, you know, the boss of everybody. So, once that's all said and done, we get to... Um, Oh man, y'all forgot what I was gonna talk about. We get to German. We get to German and um and Asha's daddy, and y'all loved it. He was just like, "Look, I know I'm ready to get out of the city, and I know Asha's following her dream, so I want to follow mine, and I would feel bad not to talk to you because I know you have connections, and I'm just letting you know you don't have to give me any special favors, but." Here's, you know, I guess my playbacks and I wrote some stuff. I don't know what was in the thing because I'm not, you know, basketball. I just like watch dudes because so I think they're cute and, you know, you get to see dick prints flop around a little bit. So, yeah. Oops. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was just like, yeah, you know, I got, I guess he's trying to be a sister coach or whatever. So, he just let old boy know. And old boy was like, look, these women crazy. So, you know, these, these Hazel, whatever they last name women, just watch out for them. He was like, yeah, I know. So, once that's over with, I'm trying to figure out. Well, at the end of it, we know Jeremy got the job. I was like, yay. And then I think, what was it? Kyle, uh, I'm trying to get, trying to get him, trying to get everybody I can. Kyle talks to, uh, talks back to Long Shark, whatever. And the Long Shark dude had the, uh, divorce paper. And she was like, uh, give me, give me the paper. Give it to me. And I was like, no, you got to pay up. So she was like, now how are we going to work this out when I don't work? with people I work alone and he was like so you got this book of binders of people that's in the uh stadium so what's up with it let's make it together so they gonna form up an alliance and I'm I don't know if I'm here for it because I think he's gonna drag her to the ground just like I think Asha gonna be get dragged to the ground by this new dude she with like he gonna have a pop at Molly's I swear something gonna happen and they gonna make a sex tape or something like that Jelena gonna find out but yeah at the end of it when I tell you this is what a single ladies should have been, but but it, it wasn't. Like single ladies had the potential to be this show. And I ain't gonna I ain't even gonna further. But yeah, once we get to the to end of it, oh boy, the, the owner or whatever, scraping up body, scrape I mean scraping up body. I done spilled the tea already. He uh shoveling up stuff, I don't know, I think they shovel up stuff just for the grand opening or whatever, but he shoveling, he's shoveling, he like, what is this? Turns out the dead body is Olivia. It's Olivia, and I'm just like, yes, that's what you get. I don't know if he had her killed or somebody had her killed. I'm still trying to figure out because I ca I didn't really watch all of the first season. Cause somebody helped me out because I, I ain't sure. But um, he you know turned hit that you know saw the dead body and everybody looking at the dead body. I'm like, yes, you better get it. Yeah, you ain't all that what it's cracked up to be. So I cannot wait. To see next episode, cause somebody need to be fired, and I'm glad Kimberly working with the, detec the detective to get stuff situated. She about to get buku money, if you feel me. She about to get some money, like <laughs> oh, we're gonna be paid. So I think that was it, you guys. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And trust me, this is gonna be a great season. I cannot wait to see everything and how stuff pans out, and then. Asha or somebody, I, I can't believe, I, you know, I just, I have to break up with you, but I can't, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right, and she proceeds to get into that tub, that hot tub, and they, I don't know if they did the nasty, but, you know, they do a grown up still, so I write you guys, uh, this is, it's kind of it for me, so, I never know how to sign off, so, you know, I'm just, you know, saying peace out, and, you know, hope you guys enjoy this. Tuesday morning.